everyone. We have Miss Remy Ashton back in the studio. Who are these dumb bitches? <laughs> Slide your way on over. I want to roll. I want to run. Everyone's done. Circling. I know. I'm sure the singing. Ramble. Pretty basic. Thank you to Macy's, Living Proof, and DoorDash for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Everyone. We have Miss Remy Ashton back in the studio. Hello, all. I've missed you so much. Big shout out to TK for holding down the fort for me. I know. And last week was the the first week that I think we've ever just missed a week. <gasps> I know. So we are very, very sorry that you haven't seen Miss Remy Ashton in so long. I've missed you all so much. We um, are finally back from our month long excursion. I um, think partying. What had happened was that day we were recording two episodes and you woke up with a sore throat. So you were like, I don't think I can record today. And I was like, don't worry, bitch. You covered for me so much last year when I was sick. I got this. And then I was like, I can do a solo episode, but what do I have for the other episode? And then thank God TK was able to kind of like come in, be a co-host. We did an honestly such a good two-part series. If you're a creator and you want like insight of just like tips, networking, like do's and don'ts. We were like the most real I think we've ever been about like- Oh, it was like, incredible. It was, <laughs> did you actually listen? <laughs> <laughs> Please leave this. I watched. Please leave it. In. I watched the TikToks and they were amazing. No, and that's, very insightful. That's, and that's, those were the spark notes and the highlights, that's, and that's all I needed to grasp. That it was a good episode. No, <laughs> it was a good, it was a good episode. What's funny is I knew you didn't. So when you said that, I was like, "This bitch is lying." I'm to be but, but, no, no. <laughs> It was yeah, so it good. Was. And um, I had multiple people text me saying how good it was. So I know it was good. <laughs> and <laughs> the, that's the thing about influencers. I, I feel like I do that too. I'll be like, oh my God. I, like, I saw that like in my head, I, I didn't watch a video someone uploaded, but I saw the thumbnail. So I'm like, oh, I saw that you did that. That's cool. And I'm like, well, I only saw that you did it. Yeah. That, not that I didn't watch it. Like whatever. That's funny. Did uh, I lie? Did I fucking did lie? lie? I thought it was great. Oh, well, I missed you so much. The clips were in fantastic. If yeah, you didn't listen, go listen. Go listen. Then uh, last week, I got sick really bad. I've been sick for like two solid weeks. So I feel like I don't like, I finally feel like myself. I feel like I'm slightly still congested. Um, and you also were not feeling well. No, I had to bow out. But I, I have to say, I was very excited to come today because I've missed it so much. No, literally yesterday you were like, when are you free? I'm like, are you free tomorrow? Are you free this next day? Can we hang out? I, I miss loved you a it. lot. I love it so much. I was just walking. I went up to Cal and I was like, Alicia wants to hang out with me. And he was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so that's why we missed last week. We were just like, damn it. I don't think we can do another solo episode without Remy because everyone will unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say thank you for everyone that missed me. I missed you all so much and I missed this part of our routine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had obviously a lot of fun in the desert and um I went to Vegas, which we will recap very soon, but I'm I'm happy to be back. And That's why cuz you were in Vegas. I was yes. like I got sick from yeah, you were in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um how was Vegas? <gasps> Vegas was amazing. And this was two weekends ago, I think. Uh, yes, I had the most amazing time in Vegas. So we scheduled it so that we went to Coachella weekend one, Coachella weekend two, stagecoach, and then I went to Vegas. Here's the thing. I like how you say we because Cal only went to weekend one and in Vegas. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Which, you know, what's funny, though, is before even weekend one of Coachella had even come about, you had texted me and you were like, hey, I want to go to stagecoach. Do you want to go? And I was like, honestly, no, I'm not <laughs> going to be able to make it. I'm like, no, I'm, it was a hard no. I am in retirement now. I'm not used to drinking anymore. I'm not used to being out and I'm going to Vegas after stagecoach. So I'm not going to be able to make it. Like I'm gonna have to take some time off. Uh, then we went to every single weekend and didn't stop. No, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing was our team reaches out and we're like, Hey, we got these artist passes for stagecoach. Like, do you guys want to do a deal? And Remy was all caps. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And I was sitting there looking at this group chat and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, I get it. Just the I get it. Are flying back. It's, it's different when it's like, for work, quote, when, air quotes. When you get to go for free, you go. You go. You go. When you get to see Carrie Underwood sing ten wasted. feet away. Oh my God. So good. I want her to crack my skull with her legs. Those quads. Yeah. My God. I just, I always remember this. I remember someone saying, 
that Beyonce wears like four pairs of tights when she's performing. And now that's all I can see when I see performers on stage. Oh my like God. They're, like wearing like two solid pairs. <gasps> and it makes sense. Like especially- With Carrie? Had, she, oh, for sure had something. Even when I did my little tour. <laughs> Sorry, just compare it. When Alicia like, went on tour. I can't even compare that. I remember, <laughs> I remember Nikki and Gab. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I hate it. Him. You I hate it. Can I be super honest? Can I be Wait, shady can for I, a minute? Can I finish my thing real quick? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I just remember Allison Stoner and Nikki <laughs> and Gabby's stylist had them wear like tights because mm. they were singers. And I was like, oh my God. That was my first time hearing about that. Anyways, go ahead. Drag me. <laughs> I think Girls Night In was essentially a glorified mall tour. Oh no, bitch. You oh. weren't even there. <laughs> I did. I went once. Oh, it was so my good. My favorite was we <laughs> and were, I actually watched it this my, time. <laughs> my, my favorite was we were working with a department store. Ooh. I won't say, I won't say who. Okay, yeah. Um, and we part of our contract that year was having to go to stops all around the country. So I essentially did. Oh, so it was, it was a <laughs> yeah, mall tour. Yeah. And I just remember all of these girls would like come and we'd be in the clothing section and I'd be on this little <laughs> ri- <laughs> I would be on this riser by myself because we each had to do it individually. So I go and I'm like, hi. And I was like, You yeah, have video? Uh, probably, <laughs> probably. I probably, honestly, I probably only have like Snapchat memories with the dog filter because that was that time. Mm, yeah. Okay. My King Kylie era. You dated it. <laughs> you thought you were King Kylie. Yeah, I was you- like. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm funny. crying. Well, what were we talking about? I don't know. We just missed each other. How did we Vegas, get here? Vegas, Vegas. I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Vegas, Vegas, back to it. Um, I, we initially went, yes, we initially <laughs> went, and I had scheduled to go way before Coachella because it was Cal, we, I was missing Cal's birth. I was going to, I was at Cal's birthday, but like, we didn't have any quality time. Happy birthday, Cal, let's go. Happy birthday, Cal, let's go. Yeah. So, we decided to go see Silk Sonic mm-hmm. in Vegas. They performed at the MGM. Dolby live theater thing. I'm so jealous. Oh my God. So he's like the, as we all know, like the resident Anderson Pack fan, like super big fan. I would die for Bruno Mars. So we plan to go. We get to Vegas. That was like the sole reason we went. I lost so much money gambling yet again. Oh when no. will I learn my lesson? Apparently never because I'm going back in a few weeks. And we um, are. I am. <laughs> you can come with if you want. My mom actually tried to invite you. I was like, no. <laughs> Yes, we do. She was like, maybe Chris and Alicia want to go. My mom loves Silk Sonic, so she really wants to go see them. But I'm like, I cannot picture going to Vegas with my mom. Oh, my God. Wait, do you want to come with us? But they're not going to be there, are they? No. Well, well, I'm not bringing her unless they're there. Okay, understood, understood. <laughs> well, so they're only performing. They, I believe this show, and this is what I talked about when we ran into them, when I ran into Bruno and Anderson at the Nice Guy restaurant. Yes, full circle. Yes, so they initially, I believe, were only doing like a January, February, like a few shows during then, but it did so incredibly well that they've extended it. So they're doing Fridays and Saturdays and a few Tuesdays sprinkled in there. And so we went and I had bought tickets to take him to go to the Friday show. So we go... I kid you not. The third song in, they're performing Skate. <gasps> Can you win an Emmy for a Vegas show? I feel like there has to be a category. I don't know. There has to be. If not, they need to put it in because Silk Sonic would win. Oh. The choreography. Mwah, oh my God. No joke. They were singing Skate to me, baby. baby. You know the part that goes, I want to roll. I want to ride. Yeah, yeah. They did this move where they were like gyrate and I literally was like, I'm coming back tomorrow. Oh my God. I need to see that again. And in that moment. And I bought tickets <laughs> again. So we went. It was so good. I truly, I, okay, but here's the thing. You I really got sorry, too fucked you up. You slid over the fact that you I bought run, tickets I again. Can we just, <laughs> I solely needed to see that move again. So you went Friday and then, no, no, no. So I went Friday and I got way too drunk. Okay, okay, okay. So I didn't eat thing. dinner. I don't remember much oh, other no, than okay. I, after, I, after the gyrating Skates blackout, it was, I was having such a good time. So they take your phone away from you for the show. Like if you went to like, you know, Disney yes. premieres, they put it in those yes. little pockets. They took my phone away. So I really was able to focus. I was in, I'd say like the fifth row, but I was on the very side. Like they couldn't, they, you know, it's dark. I kind of love that they did that though. Cause it adds a little mystery, a little like, Oh, it's just, so it's and like now an I want experience. to go see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so good. Oh yeah. So I got very way drunk. Too too drunk. Okay. Because I was trying to be a good time girl. And <laughs> Wait, um, what do you mean trying to be, bitch? 
it. Because I was like, I'm going to be fun. I'm going to dance. You are fun. Thank you. But so I get there to the show, and it's it's starting. <laughs> so or it's sorry. not even starting. I pictured Cal standing straight watching, and you like. <laughs> Literally, that's <laughs> what it was. Your move, are you like. <laughs> But like, so I didn't have my phone. So oh. and we got there so early because we wanted to be on time. Well, and you had the VIP. Experience. And we had the VIP experience, which I would not recommend buying. I'm so sorry. It's an it's an open bar, which is cool, but it's like just a small section where how you're much, just standing at circular tables. How much more did you pay for that versus a regular ticket? Hundred dollars a person for the so, VIP experience. But I thought. So we thought. But the only way that that makes sense is if you get at least like what five, four drinks. Yes, which Each. I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> And they give you these cups, which like, I did. Like a, no like a you fucking drunk. Trenta, like a Trenta at um Starbucks, like fucking. Go, 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 go. So I obviously totally had, stop. I had <laughs> I had to make my money's back, obviously. Um, but then I get my drink and I'm going down. I'm sitting there waiting. I don't have a phone, so I'm just like looking around. And then this, it's me and then Cal and then this sweet, I'd say probably like. 60 year old woman who was from Tennessee and um it's just us and she is a talker let me oh. tell you she with we even without her without her phone with her phone I'm sure she's a talker she was like hey oh my god I love Bruno and I was like oh, me too she's like yeah this is my anniversary trip I was like oh my god where's your significant other she's like oh he's in the, the hotel room this is my like her ticket that her gift from him was the ticket One to ticket. go by herself <laughs> she's like yeah like I came a few years ago when Bruno was doing his tour and he looked right at me and he blew me a kiss and I was like oh my god she never told us her name but Cal and I decided her name is Jan and so Jan Jan, Jan yeah she's wearing like a red sweater she's got like short gray hair oh. and she was telling us all these like stories about her life she was very sweet but as I was just like watching and like she was like talking about Bruno with so much love and passion yeah. I was like Bruno Mars this I think that that is Bruno Mars demographic well, you know what my, I mean you know my mom is a yes. huge fan like my I mom said. as well I think like older ladies who just like see him you know why? Like, he's such like a sex god it's such 70s music ah uh, it's like my mom like we were listening to the when you were there I took my mom on a little Malibu trip um and we listened to Silk Sonic on the way because I was like oh my god she'll like this and mm. she kept being like oh my god this sounds just like da 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 or Aww. like this was my high like it sounds so Aww. I think it's it's yes but like Bruno Mars specifically though, Sex. but like I feel like he knows that, so he plays it up. Smart. He blew. She said she's like he blew me a kiss. I had to look around and see if like he, was he looking at someone else. <laughs> he was only looking at me, and I was like, oh my god. But like he did that once. Yeah. She's thought about that every, every single day. waking moment of her life since I that happened, and of, she is front row again. Think of how many people were you front row? I was still on um, fourth or fifth on the side. <laughs> on the side, I couldn't buy front row. But oh, so in my drunken drunken Romy state Uh oh! I fully had it convinced every person on that stage was in love with me that night <laughs> I literally would turn away from Cal because I wanted them to think I was single and I was like <laughs> I'm not even kidding but they didn't look at me at all and I was like <laughs> Dude, I'm like this the whole night. I wish someone was filming you the whole show. That's I, I would pay money to see that. That was my experience. And then after we got out, it was like 11:30, and I was so drunk, and I needed food that yeah. I was like sick. So then, when I bought tickets for the next night, I made sure to not be drunk this time. At what point did you buy the tickets? Uh, the next day, okay, like afternoon when okay. I was laying in bed, I was like, I want to go back again. And Cal obviously said yes. Oh, he didn't know. I just bought his tickets. I was How'd like, we're going him? back. I said, we're going. He's like, <laughs> he's like, what? That's the difference between you and I. We both love surprising our friends and family. Yes. But I like build it up. I like, I'm like, we have a surprise. Da, 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 da. Like I like build that shit up. And you're just like, we're going to Greece tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, but also this for me wasn't for him. It was for me <laughs> oh, to true, go true, back. True, true, I needed true. to see the gyrating again. So I went back. I went back. It was so much fun. I remembered everything. I was now on the other side. Still convinced myself that they were all in love Different with me. Different view, yeah. Yeah, and it was a great show. I highly, highly recommend. Oh, my God. Well, I want to go back. Yes. Well, they, I want to go. Well, they just added tickets or shows again in August. Okay, we're going. So we're going, and we, it's going to be That would be fun for our, our moms. Or or just us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like, sorry, we can buy the tickets, and they can go in the back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's talk about Macy's. You know, here at the Pretty Basic Studio, we... We stand 
Macy's. We love Macy's. As we've said before, Macy's has been an amazing partner to us and friend of the show for such a long time. And there's something new to celebrate every single time. So we've been over, you know, their fashion advice, their awesome gift options, their amazing shoe selection. They've really just got us covered everywhere. Um, and we're very grateful for them. This past weekend, I went shopping with Susie and I did saunter into a Macy's with her and we looked at all the different home things. And also, uh, you already know, I'm throwing a little Memorial Day party coming yes. up very soon. So I wanted to just see like what's going on. What do they have? Some cute beach things because it's going to be a beach party. I will say as being your friend, I'm very excited for that party. <laughs> and I know it's going to be you're just such an all or nothing person. I'm, I'm excited to chill, maybe lounge in some chairs. Also, we're throwing a little barbecue this weekend, which is perfect because Macy's has pretty much Everything we could need. Outdoor dinnerware and fun translucent colors. Barbecue tools to keep the burgers coming. You're going to come in a full get up. Oh, I'm for sure going to come. <laughs> I'm going to wheel my Traeger in. I'm going to be dressed to the nines. They have outdoor furniture to seat the whole crew. No matter what you're looking for, just head on over to Macy's.com. So I've been staying home a lot lately. Yeah, getting my life together. You're organizing everything. Organizing. And after a long day of organizing, the last thing I want to do is not only cook, but clean oh my, my kitchen. God. I just never want to do either anytime. Exactly. <laughs> but especially after a productive day, that's the last thing I want to do, which was my day yesterday. So, you know, I was winding down and I decided I could go for a chicken wing right now. Ooh. I door dashed wing stop. <gasps> I love a wing. I've been craving a chicken wing for actually like a week now. And door is the only delivery service that brings wing stop straight to my house. So I got it and they were so good. Also, I just, I love how you can get anything from snacks, drinks, household essentials. So maybe you needed some cleaning supplies during your cleaning spree. Um, you could get it in 30 minutes with DoorDash. If you didn't know, DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household household items delivered in under an hour. Also, what's amazing is there's over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. So you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like maybe Wingstop. Or Chipotle and Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code PRETTY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order. On your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code PRETTY. Don't forget that's code PRETTY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Well, like I said, while you were there, I was uh, on my deathbed. I definitely was just unwell. Mm. Sleeping, I've slept so much the past few weeks i've the other day i slept until one guys ashley was like are you okay? are you okay <laughs> and i was like i'm just I don't, I, clearly i needed it but i feel finally like i'm kind of back alive i get it i think that you needed it i think you i needed I, to rest I, I think i did i saw you read a coho novel <gasps> oh my god yeah were you crying you were crying i saw you were crying okay for book talk people listening um i read it ends with us by colleen hoover when I tell you the whole time, like, here's my thing. Here's my issue. Okay. I love when I hear the hype about something, but I always let it overhype the thing for me. Mm. So I kept hearing people saying like, this is the best book ever. You're going to cry. It's like crazy. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, I'm probably not going to cry now. And I wish I had read it without knowing anything about the book. Mm -hmm. Like, but of course I'm reading it because I've heard so much about it. So, you know, pros and cons. I get to the last page and I turn it and it's and then it, it says epilogue and I'm like wait that was it I was like that's how it ended I was like damn I didn't cry like that's not that like crazy okay whatever and then I see the epilogue I'm like eh, I don't really want to read it because you know usually it's just like the author's note being like I'd like to thank this person for believing in me blah 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 without mm. any spoilers all I'm gonna say is that and the author's note completely wrecked me oh interesting that's all I'm gonna say so for the people I put it on TikTok my reaction I start crying I'm bawling I'm like oh my god I was not prepared for this like it just like brings it full circle and you're just like oh my god oh, that's so interesting I had no idea so if you've so I had people I put it on TikTok my reaction because I like I was like oh my god I have to film this um and Ashley got my reaction too and I was like it was so good and crying and some people said oh wait I didn't read the epilogue and I was like go read it right now so if you're listening to this and you agreed you were like okay it was good but it wasn't like amazing go read it or you just don't have trauma in your life. You know, <laughs> you can't relate. She's doing a prequel. It's, it yes. starts with us. Yes, and it's from a different character's point of view. Oh. Also, Justin Baldoni. <gasps> you love him. Is doing the uh, the Netflix 
uh, or oh, doing the movie. They're making it into they're a movie. They're making Thank a movie. God. And he's doing it. He did Five Feet Apart. He was in Jane the Virgin. I'm obsessed with him. He's such like, uh, I just love every, I love him. He seems like such a nice person. Yes. You know, he throws like a little um, carnival out in Skid Row. I know. He's just all about giving back. I feel like he's also very big on the idea of masculinity and how like toxic it's been taught for years and like how men aren't vulnerable. And I'm like, yo. Loves it. Loves it, Mr. Valdoni. And whenever I'm in a relationship, you should do this. Just go to Cal's Instagram and follow Justin oh. for him. So the next thing, so he's just seeing all of this stuff. <laughs> it's like how to be a better husband, how oh, to be a better. I love that. <laughs> no, he's amazing. I love him. So I'm, I was so excited when I heard he's doing that. I bought a few other books by her um, and I'm really excited. I, it was Verity, so good. I know, is good. Oh, Cal's reading mom's that right a now. big, she's a big reader. So she always tells me about all of those things. She's talked to Coho before too. Oh my God. She replied to my DM. Oh my God. She put a purple heart. Oh my God. All my <laughs> friends are like friends with Coho. Oh I have a little bit of trauma with and ends with us. I don't know if I've told you this before. No. Um. So I've never been a reader my mm. whole life. Like never been into reading. I've always, my mom wanted me so badly too. I just like have never been into it. It's just not my thing. I go through waves. And that's like, that's okay. Yeah. I think hopefully. Totally. You know, I love people that read books. I just, you know, I wanted to get into it because it ends with us like, like, look cute. Did you read it? Um, so everybody was reading it and I was like, I'm going to try. So I bought it. I literally read three pages. I told this to Caitlin B because she's like a big reader <laughs> I'm like, and she kept messaging me about it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I got three pages in and I was like, mm. I kept meaning to, I kept bringing it on vacations and then I just like, <laughs> wouldn't read it. I've never seen you with a book. I still get asked <laughs> to this day. People are just like, oh my God, what'd you think of the book? What'd you think of the book? Because I think I hauled it. I was like opening up oh. packages and it happened to be in my haul. Yeah. And like, oh, when I'm you excited. let when you let the audience in a little bit, you they, know, later you gotta bring it back. <laughs> they really wanted my opinion on it. I, I will try Need again it. if I could find it. I don't know where it went. But then no, my trauma hasn't oh. come in. Oh, I thought that was the trauma. <laughs> no, that's not the trauma. Then um so I was getting asked quite a lot. Like an interesting amount for like what my opinion of the book was, which I didn't know that many people cared about my opinion on a book. But I went on Twitter one day and this person made a full account devoted to just bullying me about finishing the book. <laughs> You're like, now I'm never fucking reading it. No, they were like actually bullying me about it. Like, Remy, when the fuck are you going to finish the book? Like, <laughs> um, like, wow, so like you to like do this and not finish and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God. And then um, I don't think I ever replied or maybe I quoted it. I think I quoted it and I was like, not you bullying me about finishing a book. I think I saw that. Yes. And then they, <laughs> it's just so funny. Then they just <laughs> re <laughs> they replied to it and spoiled the book for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst thing a hater could do so funny because i wasn't gonna read it anyways i was like damn that happened that's that's rough and then i went to their account oh. this is the worst of all i'm obsessed with this tiktok account of this mom that lives in arizona and vlogs her days and then does friday treat time where she like gives them treats on fridays like i'm obsessed and i watch her youtube videos like i love finding like family vloggers it's my favorite thing mm -hmm. she's like She's decently big on TikTok, but like very random, obviously. The photo of this profile was her. Was their family. Do you so do you think it was her? <laughs> or do you think that they just picked a random family family photo? I don't think it was her. I better not. What be. if it was one of the kids? How old are, uh, how old are the uh, kids? Probably like 13. What if it was one of the kids? No, it wasn't. It for sure was not. I was just like, what are the chances that like, she is my favorite but TikToker. That's trolling 101. Not like I've ever had a class on trolling and like how to do it right. But like, you don't have a photo of yourself or anyone you're like. That's what I figured. You know? So it has to be someone else. So maybe she's such a, maybe she's so similar to you. And that's why she was so hurt. You wouldn't read it. Cause she's like, you would love this. And she also has same interest. And that's why she also likes family vloggers. Oh, I just thought it was hilarious. Hilarious That's that she funny. spoiled the book. Okay, for me. well, after this episode, we're gonna talk about it because I'm curious if I still think you should read it or not, depending on what you know. Okay, circling back on, no, I'm not even gonna tell you what it's about. Okay, but yeah, it is about something that we've already me. talked about. But Cal sent me this crazy Twitter thread today that I did see, like the story, the general story uh, on TikTok because I was watching like a little like synopsis, and I just want to tell you about this crazy story. Okay, and you're gonna scream. Okay. Love it. Also, before I get started, just a little trigger warning. This story that I'm going to tell involves domestic abuse. So just a little forewarning before we get started. We'll link the thread <laughs> on Instagram or something. So this person, her name is Sarah Mick 
McGonagall. Ooh, I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> and her threat or her Twitter handle is Goth Spider Bitch. Love that. Okay, so she posted this whole thread and I'm gonna read it all. So she says, so I came across this wild story about a man named Ronald who was sentenced to 14 years in jail for assaulting his wife. Except when he was arrested, the cops were confused because Ronald was already locked up. Or so they thought. <laughs> it was actually his twin, Donald. See, twin photo attached. Here's the, the twins, okay? Donald and Ronald. Donald and- why, why would you do that to your kids? Oh my God, I didn't even put that together. Why would you do that to your kids? Okay. So this wasn't the first time Donald had pretended to be his brother. So Donald had gone to jail for Ronald four times, as well as serving time for his own crimes. For him? So they're like switching back and forth. So when Ronald assaulted his wife, Brenda, Donald volunteered to take his place. But that's not all. When the boys were younger, Ronald, Ronald, enlisted in the military and wasn't through basic training. The night before he shipped out, he told Donald that he was having second thoughts. Well, said Donald, I want to go. Let me try. At first, Ronald thought he was joking. He wasn't. Using a broomstick, Ronald taught his brother all the gun maneuvers he'd learned in training. The next day, Donald shaved his head and shipped out. He served in Korea for about six months before returning home, where Ronald would then step in to serve the rest of his deployment. So they're just switching back and forth. There were other reasons the boys would switch. Ronald didn't know how to flirt, so sometimes Ronald would ask oh girls God. out as him, and then Donald would go on dates. I have twin, I think it was my twin cousins or twin friends, I forget at some point. Ronald also had children with several women, so <gasps> Donald would pretend to be him and no, visit the kids on holidays. No, that's dramatic! Even Ronald married a woman named Brenda, who would become one of the first female strawberry brokers. It was love at first sight. For a while, things were great. What's a strawberry broker? I think um, <laughs> like strawberry farmers like back in the, I think something to do with like, selling strawberries. Okay, I didn't know. For a while, things were great. Ronald made amends with his four estranged children, and he and Brenda would have two children of their own. But by the time their second child was born, Brenda noticed that Ronald was acting erratically. He'd come home late, intoxicated, and often begged her for cash. He acted inappropriately around the kids. Soon Brenda learned the truth. Ronald had become addicted to smoking crack. <gasps> smoke. Around this time, Brenda's boss retired and left the strawberry business to her. Brenda was killing it, but her husband needed help. She put Ronald in rehab several times. Once he walked out of the hospital and he was found wandering around the street in his gown, ass hanging out. Eventually, things got so bad that she kicked him out. She got him his own apartment and frequently gave him money. But soon she learned that Ronald had stolen tens of thousands of dollars from her business. She turned to an old friend of Ronald's for help who lent her $20,000. Oh. Ronald became jealous. He started violently harassing Brenda, threatening to kill her and their kids. One day, he even sent workers from a local mortuary to her house. When Brenda answered the door, they told her that they were there to collect her body. This was the last straw. Isn't that so fucked up? Brenna went to Ronald's apartment to confront him, but he took her hostage and held her at gunpoint. If you don't, quote unquote, if you don't help me get off drugs, then I'm going to kill you. Brenda somehow convinced him that they should get the kids after she dropped him back off and called 911. Ronald was sentenced to six months in jail. And six months only? And for a while, it was life was normal again. Then one day, Brenda arrived home, and as she got out of her car, a man suddenly attacked her. He started to choke her, but her kids and their babysitter had come to greet her and saw everything. They ran to get help from a neighbor while the man continued to choke her. He grabbed her purse, stole $350, tried to steal her car, and then fled the scene. Brenda was covered in blood, and the cops thought she was dead. But worst of all, the man had looked exactly like Ronald. The kids told the police it had to be Ronald's twin, Donald. Ronald was supposed to be in jail after all. But when they caught the man, they learned the truth. Ronald had disappeared while on a work release program during his six-month sentence, and Donald had taken his place. Ronald was sentenced to 14 years in jail, and Donald was soon released. For a brief moment in court, the twins were reunited again. When asked about the switch, Donald said, I love my sister-in-law. I would never hurt her, but if I could take my twin's place now, I would do it. Brenda would recover and return to work. She married the friend who'd loaned her the money and he'd become her business partner. The strawberry business was so successful they became millionaires and moved the family to a mansion in Beverly Hills. But this didn't last long. Brenda and her husband were each charged with 78 counts of security fraud after promising profitable returns during a bad strawberry season. They lost the house and were $36 million in debt. Brenda pled guilty <laughs> to 22 counts and got 15 years in jail. They divorced behind bars. Ronald and Brenda's son, who had witnessed his father trying to kill his mother and had recently been making headway in the music industry, watched as his family's new lives fell apart. But from the ashes, he was determined to rise again. And now we know him as Anderson Pack. Shh. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? What? Crazy. 
I read this in your driveway today and I just kept scrolling. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Isn't that insane? I have so many thoughts. Isn't that the craziest story you've ever heard? I saw the twin thing on TikTok and I was keeping up with it for a little bit. And then, you know, like when they do the parts, I couldn't catch so, up. Oh. I had no idea that it was Anderson Pack's dad. I can't believe he like saw that. I know. Also, now I feel weird because, you know, when you can say random stuff about strangers and it's like, it doesn't hit as many. Now I feel a little bad because there's like a connection there of like who they are. Yeah. But like, there has to be something like tw- twins just don't do that. Like switching for a test, maybe. Like there's switching something. For jail. Switching for jail, like that's fucking. Granted, it was decades ago, so like, I, and like I feel like there was a mental story. thing or like a weird codependency thing. Like mm. I don't know. Am I? Mm. But good for mm. Anderson Pack. But what the? Fu- also, millions of dollars for strawberries. So it didn't shock me when that fell through because I was like, something <laughs> sketchier. Like, like we all in the wrong business. <laughs> we suddenly opened a strawberry. I know. I'm store. like, what? Isn't that so crazy? I had so many thoughts. Oh my god! I knew by when you were like he, music, I was like, who is he? Mm-hmm. And, and then you said Anderson Pack. Full yes. fucking circle. Yes. What? Isn't that my so wild? face? That whole time was like. He's very, very, very private though. Like I. Cal's obsessed with him and like knows very little about him because he doesn't put much out. So it's so wild that like that story is him. That's his childhood. Very traumatic, but super interesting. That's so sad. It's so sad. Super, super sad. But like. But good for him. Look at him rising from the ashes. And in the six months. I know. That's like people go on vacation for six months. So also I've heard this thing where like when people are in jail a lot and that's kind of all they know, that's why they always go back to it because like it's like familiar. Mm. So I'm like, maybe the one twin, but now again, now I feel weird. Cause it's like, I'm curious connection. where they're at. I don't know what's going on with them now, but I'm very proud of Anderson Pack, And he's, he seems like the nicest person. Isn't that crazy? When I scrolled and his picture showed up at the end, I was like, what? She's speechless. Wow. I'm the woman was too stunned to speak. Yeah. Um, all in all go support Silk Sonic at the yeah. Park MGM in Vegas. So good. Well, maybe now because we're shouting them out because clearly everyone buys whatever you say because you're the best influence <laughs> in the world. Maybe they'll add more dates because <gasps> it'll be sold out. I don't know. We better buy our stuff. Yeah, know. you know, you're demo 16 year old. <laughs> Jan? For Jan. Jan. For Jan. Um, yeah, I'm just very proud of Anderson Pack. He's so talented and deserves every bit of success that he has. The biggest, biggest thing that you've influenced me to buy is Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Oh my God. I was like, what are you about to say? Uh-huh. That is genuinely my favorite dry shampoo. For a very long time, I mean, like for probably the first two years of our friendship, all you do is talk about that dry shampoo. <laughs> and I was so hung up on another dry shampoo. I was like, no, mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Till finally I ran out and we were on a trip and I needed to use yours. Mm-hmm. And by God, you were right. You guys know, pretty basic together. We both love Living Proof. They're amazing. For me personally, I have really dry, damaged hair. So I like the Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner, but Cal has curly hair. Mm-hmm. So he uses the curly hair shampoo and conditioner and their styling products, and his hair has never looked better. Also, it's founded by a team of scientists and hairstylists. So each Living Proof product is scientifically engineered to solve the toughest hair challenges and never just conceal them. Put science to work and unlock your best hair with Living Proof. Go to livingproof.com slash basic and use code basic to get 10% off your first purchase. I will be using this code. That's livingproof.com slash basic, code basic for 10% off your first purchase. Livingproof.com slash basic, code basic. Also, he's an investor at Taisho, which is one of the best (laughs) Japanese restaurants. I hope in he LA. sees this episode. I hope so. Oh my god! No, I hope he sees the one that Cal was on. Cal no, deserves. Wait, the whole time that partially I thought they were in love with me. The other half, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe Cal did that when he went up to oh. them at the restaurant. I felt so no, bad yeah. still. But I'm sure they forgot. I was like yeah, so they, drunk but, yeah. in my brain that I was having all these conversations with myself, and I was like, I felt so bad. I was like, oh, I can't believe I made him do that. If you guys missed that episode, um, I told Cal <laughs> we went to a restaurant and Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars and their amazing trumpet player were there, oh. and um, there was like a musician in the restaurant and like a guitar player who was like just performing t- for the ambiance and after he finished he like was sitting with Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack and them and like having a conversation and I was like Cal go give the guy a tip like you have to go like this is your in this is your in and when he went up in it was what? incredibly uncomfortable the guy was really but he ended up replying oh did we ever talk about it no um the guitar player ended up commenting on the episode <gasps> Oh, did what? I ever talk? oh, he was so nice. He was so nice. He replied, oh, I should find it. He was so sweet. Okay, if any 
anyone from their team is listening, we would love to go to Vegas <laughs> for the VIP experience. We were not shitting on it earlier. We're so sorry. I'm down for an open bar. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, if we met them, we got to speak it out into existence. Um. Okay. Whoa, sorry. I had a dream last night that Taylor Swift called me. <gasps> and... <laughs> What did she say? <laughs> she invited me with some other influencers. I think Mia was one. TK was one, but then TK was like, "No, I don't want to do it." Which I was like, "Weird." Okay, TK yeah. Taylor Swift, so, get it, get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Trending. So, <laughs> and she she was like, "Yeah, I want you to come out to New York for like something something like the end." And and I was like, "Oh, is that the end of the tour?" But there's no tour going on. So <laughs> I was like trying to be a Swifty, and I was like figuring out everything. I'm like, "What's going on?" Da 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 da. da. <laughs> and um, it was a very intense like meeting, and they were gonna fly us out. And I remember in the dream, I had said, I looked at you because you were there too, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. And I was like, oh my God, this is so weird because I just said on the podcast that I want to meet Taylor Swift. <gasps> so in my in the dream, I was like, I need to speak shit out into existence. Manifestation queen. TK's always telling me that. So right now, if anyone from Anderson. Bruno. Axe, Bruno, T- Bruno. Anderson. You know, Silk Sonic. Skate. To me, babe. <laughs> Wait, perform for your life Stay. right now? <laughs> Dan, um, slide your way on over. Do the backup. Slide I'm your way, way on over. over. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Oh. I want to roll. I want to ride. ride. I'm kidding. It, like, it was so good. <laughs> she, she's and like, so, I'm warm. I'm, I'm, fuzzy. I'm literally sweating right now. <laughs> no, you look over at Kyle like... No, I literally you're turned. Dead eyes. I turned my full back to him at one point, and at one point, then also because they performed like their the Silk Sonic album only has like what like twelve songs or so, and it's an hour mm. and a half show. So good. Wait, did so? Sorry, I have so many questions. They performed like some of their own individual music, and like at one point, the like Bruno was doing the drums for Anderson, and then they switched. <sighs> and it was so good. I have to see this. So good, and then um oh. Bruno played a song from his first album, which, like, if you're not a Bruno, it, like, obvious, it wasn't, like, the biggest song. It was Runaway Baby. But, like, mm. um, not everyone knew it, obviously. But me and Jan knew every word. Yeah, and we, we were dancing did. to each other. I wonder what her real name was. But that guy from The Nice Guy, the guitar yes, player. he commented. Commented on our podcast. And what he was say? like, oh, um, I think, like, a family member, like, a cousin or, like, a friend of a friend, like, showed him the episode. And he watched it. And he replied and was like, oh, my God, Cal, thank you so much. Like, please just know I appreciated it. And he invited Cal to his concert he was like doing another show in like a few weeks but we were busy that weekend so we couldn't go but he was so nice um so if you were the one who sent that video to the guitar player oh wait the guitar player was just at the he was just at the nice guy oh uh, yeah i know i thought he was bruno's guitar player you know what either way if you're the person <laughs> if you're bruno's guitar player we just want to do fun stuff this summer so please <laughs> let us know if anyone wants to do some fun stuff with us that's a really good um pitch that was my pitch i think that was good Speaking of Anderson Pack, <laughs> this whole episode, if he doesn't see this episode, <laughs> like there's no way in hell he's not seeing this episode no, now. I, okay, fuck. I know. I'm like, I, I keep fidgeting. Maybe that's why I stopped. <laughs> Please just zoom in. <laughs> that, that was <laughs> I keep fidgeting, so sorry. Everybody, please send this episode to Anderson Pack, DJ Pee Wee. We DJ love Pee-wee. you. <laughs> they block us after he watches it. He blocks us. He's like, who are these dumb bitches? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that wasn't the story. I feel like he would hate us. I really no, 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 do. No. So, I <laughs> <laughs> he would fucking hate Especially us. Especially after what I'm about to say. A few, like a month ago, a few weeks ago, I get this invite for this party, an event, right? It's like through Meta, um, who owns Facebook, like. And it was about the creators with Rolling Stones. Like, they just had that whole uh, magazine come out. So it was a party to celebrate creators, essentially. Um, And it it was at the Hearst Estate, which I'm also an idiot because I... I've been to Hearst Castle up in Cambria forever ago, right? It's like this beautiful castle. And when I heard it was at the Hearst Estate, I was like, oh my God, Hearst, Hearst. I had no idea that that same Hearst is Hearst publications 17 teen vogue but i had no idea they were connected oh i would have thought of the hearst building in new york city yes may i also ask you a question yes how did you not know that phil collins is lily collins dad i had no fucking idea how did you not know about their estranged relationship <gasps> oh my god i feel bad i didn't know it was estranged she felt like he was never there for her childhood because he's phil collins and was out I ho- hopefully they're doing better now i had no idea how did you not know that no what's more embarrassing she's is our favorite nepotism baby the, the reason why <laughs> the reason why i was googling her was because there's some connection to a hot guy that I through a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend 
could know. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, let me Google who this guy is who works with her. Oh. So I'm trying to Google the hot guy who works with her. And you get Phil Collins. And I get Lily Collins, <laughs> Phil Collins. And I was like, shut the fuck up. How did you not know that? You'll be in my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no matter what they <laughs> say. That's a good karaoke song. We've been doing karaoke more. That that's a, a fuck. Song. That's a good karaoke song. Anyways, if you're Yogi. friends of the friends with the hot guy, if you're the friend of a friend of a friend who works with her, please send them this episode. <laughs> <laughs> every video, every yeah, we go, we like tag it on the pretty basic stories, and you can see like link shared too. <laughs> okay, okay, continue on. So. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's like, oh my God, Anderson Pack is DJing. That's so cool. And I was like, I don't think he is <laughs> because I saw that it's some DJ. <laughs> I was like, I think they're just doing a tribute to Anderson Pack and it's like a DJ like playing his stuff. Mm-hmm. I thought that until literally I was like going there. And then I looked up again. I'm like, oh, DJ Pee Wee's his like his handle. I raise you one worse. Lauren texts me while she's at the event and goes, oh my God, how does he keep his hair looking so pristine? I was like, bitch, it's a wig. (laughs) (laughs) She didn't believe me. Oh, I I, I knew it was a wig right away. I know. Oh my God. But yeah, so he ended up DJing that event and Mm -hmm. it was so fun. And I was so close to him, literally like arm. Ashley was right behind them. (gasps) And I'm not kidding the whole time. I was like, why is Remy and Cal I know, I know, I know. You know how he did that thing when you were... um, you know, at the, uh, at the, the Oscars. At the Oscars. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, my best friend was at the Oscars. Well, I also did that at that event. I was like, oh my God, Remy just saw him two <laughs> nights in a row. As you're there with As him. I'm there. I love you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Remy bought. And then I was like, I'm so sad Remy's not here. <laughs> I think you think about me more than I think you do. I, I, I love do. that. Oh That's yeah, so I just need to tell you more. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um. Anyway, so yeah, he was there. So this is basically a whole episode dedicated to him. We should title it Dear Anderson Pack. Maybe then he'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why Dear Evan Hansen just popped into my head when you said that. Oh. I've never seen it, but I know it's good. Did you see that Allie and AJ are opening up for Ben Platt on tour? No. Oh, oh so they're at Austin. For the opener they're, and at, leaves. they're at Austin City Limits this year. <gasps> Let's go. Very exciting. Very interesting mm-hmm. mix for them to open up for Ben Platt. Murph's going with Frana, and he was like, you guys should come. So I was like, yeah. Oh. So we're going to go. Okay. Sounds fun. <laughs> Tell me when. All right, so now that we're in the topic of pop culture, let's do a little pretty pop culture moment. Ooh. Did you watch Selena Gomez on SNL? Okay, I didn't. <gasps> was she good? Was it good? Was she it funny? She was really good. Good. She was funny. I, I I don't really watch SNL. I'm like an SNL stan for some reason. I would die for Did that for happen Boeing. more after you dating Cal? No, I've been a fan for like years. I, I don't think it's that funny, but I really like it. I feel like I want, I'm like, why don't I, I know I, I know I would love it. I always watch the clips afterwards. I just mm. need to make it part of my routine to be like, oh my God, a new one's out. If you're born on a Saturday night, it's pretty yeah. fun to watch. I, I obviously watched it. the Kim one. Obviously that was really funny. Hers were really good. I think it just like depends on the week and the sketches, obviously. Yeah. I think Selena's a really good actress. I thought some were misses, some were really good. I yeah. thought the Kim ones were better. I, f- I feel like with Kim though, she had so much pressure for it to be really good. Yeah. I feel like they went above and beyond to make sure it was funny. The new show. Oh my, I'm behind, but it's <gasps> good. It's good. So Pretty Basic, as we all know, got sponsored by the yeah. Kardashians for uh, the show. Iconic. Which was so exciting. And I, like now, I'm not really like a TV. Oh my God, I'm being such a pick me. I'm not really like a big TV person normally, but I miss like, I was really big into Glee. And so I was a big link and I miss like coming home from school and being so excited. It's like a Tuesday night. Yeah. Or yep. like whatever show is on. I used to have like a show every night that I would watch, but that's not really as big of a thing anymore now. Well, cause now it's all binge watching shows, but I will say, I think there is a wave of that coming back. Even with WandaVision, like I loved yes. looking like that gave me so much hope during a very dark time in my life. True. Of like looking forward to something. Yes. Versus just like binging a show. WandaVision specifically too was like, Oh, it's Tuesday again? Oh, it's Tuesday I again. Oh, it's it Tuesday just again. Flew. I yeah. was like, oh, wow, another episode. <laughs> I love it. Same with it. Loki. Like, I loved, 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 loved that. So I actually love that some shows are kind of doing that format again because I do think there is something to, like, looking forward to a t- random Tuesday or Monday or whatever. Oh, you know? for sure. My Wednesday nights are now Housewives of Beverly Hills mm. and Kardashians. Mm. And I just sit there with a smile on my face. Did you watch Moon Knight on Disney Plus, by the way? No. It was an Oscar Isaac. It's the most recent, uh, like, 
short form series that mm-hmm. came out. It was really good. He has really? DID. And so awesome. disassociative identity disorder, is that what it is? Like multiple personality disorder. Oh. So he, um, it's, it's about his, like his character. Wow. It's really interesting. Okay. I liked it a lot. Did you watch the Hillary Duff video I sent you? I told you already. <laughs> Don't call me out. I watched <laughs> the first five minutes and then I got distracted. You got bored? But I'm going to watch. Maybe you could give us a little synopsis. Guys, I found this video. We'll put it in the description box of this video on YouTube if you're watching. Hi. Um, There's this video that someone did this. like cons- not, It's not a conspiracy video, but it has that vibe to it. But it's basically like piecing together like what life was like for Hillary Duff back in the day. And I put it, Ashley and I were glued to it and we put it together. There was a time where we really couldn't afford cable. So my parents like got rid of it. So I was like, okay, cool. I knew nothing about the world. Oh. Like I didn't know well, any. there wasn't social media. There was no social media. Mm-hmm. Like I was just going to school. What did you miss out on? All of that. Like, I had oh. no idea about the beef that she had with people. Like, all, like, the brand. Like, she's been in two love triangles now. I had no idea. Like, her, it was her, Lindsay Lohan, and Aaron Carter. Did yes. they talk about that? Yes. Oh, that was oh, so no. sad. Oh, my God. It goes so good. I had no idea she was 15 when they did Cinderella. Aaron Carter sounded like an asshole. Also, the media in general, like, seeing how much they were a huge part of causing drama. It was so interesting. So, it was a really good, it was a really good fucking video. Mm-hmm. Um. I also watched the Olsen twins one that they did, but it kind of just stopped randomly. But that one was also very interesting um, just because at the time, like, I don't know. I, I think I was just too young to keep up with that side of it mm-hmm. versus like just seeing her in a Cinderella story yeah. and that kind of stuff. But yeah. wow, it made me respect her so much. Oh, I love her. Yeah. I've been keeping up with all. I just finished Younger finally the other day. I need to. Loved it. That. How I Met Your Father was really good too. I never watched that either. You should watch it. It's I know, really especially before she comes on because obviously Hillary Duff or anyone. Speaking of. Pitch it again. Sing our if song. If you want to come on our podcast, I would probably die um, and be very happy. So please, um, please do that. Okay. I, I, I just, I, I, didn't, I didn't believe hard enough. Sing her a little song. This why is your audition. Not, why, why not? Why not? Metamorphosis. Ooh. <laughs> that was good. All right. To end out this episode. I know. I'm like, everyone's done. <laughs> circling. I know. I'm sure the singing. So Memorial Day is right around the corner and I'm actually really excited because I feel like every year Memorial Day comes around and I'm like, oh shoot, like I want to go to the beach. I want to do this. And everyone's always busy and has their plans planned way before I can even think about it. So this year I got ahead of it and Cal and I rented a beach house. So we're bringing the dogs, Cal and I are going to go. And I already invited everybody to come over too and meet us on the beach and just have like a fun barbecue beach day. With that being said, whether you have Memorial Day plans this year or not, Macy's has you covered. I'm telling you guys, on my beach little vacation, oh, I'm so excited just thinking about it. I cannot wait to get to grilling. We're going to do some fun grilling with the group. We're going to have burgers and hot dogs and all the delicious Memorial Day feasts. I'm going to make some dips. It's going to be great. So with that, Macy's has me covered on all sort of like outdoor dinnerware, serveware. I'm going to make a picture of margaritas. I'm already imagining the like really cute outdoor pitch that I'm going to get from Macy's and I'm going to make delicious drinks. You guys know I love hosting, so this is pretty much made for me. On top of that, if I'm at the beach, obviously I need to wear some swimwear, whether it's a bikini, a little one piece, I need to like a little sarong to cover up. Again, Macy's has everything for like my swimwear to my sunglasses to sandals, everything that I need for my beach vacation. Also, obviously, what's great about Macy's is they have gifts for every budget and style to create a perfect Memorial Day weekend. Also, I'm thinking about this out loud right now. Maybe I'll make little like gift baskets for everybody that comes over to my little beach Memorial Day party and I can get some cute little knickknacks and towels and things from Macy's and throw them like in a little beach bag. That'd be adorable. Personally for me, I think, uh, what am I going to wear? I think I'll definitely rock like cute sundresses. That's so me and it's so comfortable and then I can eat all the food and just be extra comfy with my belly out and I cannot wait for that. Um, so that's definitely going to be my Memorial Day look. Macy's also has outdoor dinnerware and fun translucent colors. There's barbecue tools and outdoor furniture to seat the whole crew. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to hit this up hard as soon as I'm done reading this ad. Also, if you're just like me and hosting a Memorial Day party, they also have things that you can pick up like sunscreen, which of course is absolutely essential, beach towels, pool floats, pretty much whatever you need to have a rockin' Memorial Day party. Or maybe you don't have a party planned and you're just staying at home. Don't worry, get yourself a nice cozy robe, get yourself a blanket and watch some TV, watch some fun Netflix shows. 
Also, my mom and dad are coming over, so my mom will love, love, love if I pick her up some fun things from Macy's because she loves Macy's and loves shopping. I'm thinking like some cute, she would love if we got like a matching set, honestly. She would, she would honestly love that so much. So maybe I'll get her a matching little cover up with me, a cute little sun hat. I bet I can get some like cute beach toys that the dogs can play with. Oh, it's going to be adorable. I'm going to be living my coastal grandmother dream. As you guys know, we have an awesome guide over on Macy's.com slash pretty basic if you guys want to check that out for all things to make this Memorial Day extra special. So go check it out at www.macy's.com slash pretty basic for the best Memorial Day yet. Circling back on WandaVision, oh. we did both see the Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse Multiverse of Madness. Yes, but I'm very glad that you had the same thoughts as I did. We're not going to give any spoilers. Um, oh yeah, no spoilers. Damn it. I know it's hard. But we did have the same, kind of same. So you went and saw it first. We should do a video, though, where we do. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alerts. <gasps> and we, like, talk about a few big things. I don't know, movies, shows, whatever. But we start out the whole episode being like, we've seen all three of these. So if you don't want spoilers, don't listen. And then we can dive in to mm. it. You know how people do, like, Bachelor recaps? Yes. I know you know. <laughs> we need to do that. Obviously, but with the multiverse of madness. Let's but be Marvel girlies. Should we like, oh my God, we should like deck, we should do like lights. Let's dim. come in capes. Come in capes. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. <laughs> we should do it around Comic Con. We'll really gain a good audience. Oh, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do a live podcast of Comic Con. <laughs> we should just. <laughs> Anyways, um, we didn't even talk about, no. So, what were your thoughts on the movie? I liked, I, I'm unpopular opinion. It felt like, I don't know. I just wasn't obsessed. My biggest takeaway that I hated was I felt like some of the special effects could have been better. <gasps> okay. So I, as we all know, hate eyeballs. Yeah. And there was a part, I'm trying to knock no, in the very beginning. Down. There was a part where there is something with an eyeball and it's it a big gets alien. stabbed in the eye. And I, after that was like, the whole yeah. time and then I was just a little bit off put the rest of the movie I thought I have the biggest girl crush on Elizabeth Olsen did you watch her uh lie I watched thing? every interview <laughs> yeah every interview I love her she's so funny and so dry yeah but she was so good as Wanda I loved Benedict I love Cumberbatch she was so good um Sochi how do you say her name so she came Sochi? out during our screening yes she's mm -hmm. so great um is that I want I want to say her name right Sochi I don't know Gomez I believe is her name. Oh, she was really, was she was wrong. also like main character the oh, whole time. She was incredible. All the acting was really good. Um, this, I thought the special effects was like, mm, there's was, some parts where I didn't love it, but there's some parts where it was really good. Yes, and the, the only part I'm thinking of, I don't want to like give away a spoiler, but there was just like this zombie thing and it did not look like, a, <gasps> I hated the zombie looked, thing. It, but it looks like prosthetics. Mm. Like it looked fake to me and I thought it could have been done better. My unpopular opinion, I have, zero percent interest in the multiverse so now moving forward with marvel i don't think i really i'm gonna keep watching but no. i don't really care as much as when i did before yes because where is for america's instance, ass bring it back bring back the ass bring back america's ass bring back america's ass i miss him oh, i do too <laughs> and what's sad is i didn't realize how much i would miss him until he was gone mm -hmm. i knew what i had before it was you gone did. you did thank you yeah he's doing a movie right now with anna de armas which Chris Evans is my celebrity crush, Obviously. number one, ultimately. And on and Armas is Cal's number one. So we're going to go sit on opposite sides of, the sides of the theater. But we'll be there together. I'm very Amazing. excited. Amazing. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it was really good. I also love Elizabeth Olsen. I think she's amazing. There were some, I will say the it was like, the gr not gross, but it was like one of the more, more scary of all Marvel movies I've seen. There yeah. was like, there's some like crazy yeah. <laughs> going on. Yeah, that was like, actually, it was like <laughs> lightly like horror filmish, like on the scale, like probably a three. With zombie But more than, than normal. Yeah, yeah, Normally yeah. Normally it's like a lot of just like fighting. The fight scenes are really, really good. I thought the magic was cool. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not excited about the multiverse personally. I, I think know. mostly because it confuses me. It's hard to follow. And on top of it, I think what's hard about it is if someone was to quote, die like technically they could be in another multiverse and then they come the back thing. and it feels yes. less like oh no yeah I agree with that and it does confuse me and it confuses me when there are other 
uh, people of people. different but they're different but yes. they're yes or like you know what i mean yes like you know loki how about. there was like a girl loki yes that's you're exactly. like huh i was like wait I and then they're like loki falling in love and i was like this is weird i was so confused yeah i don't know but the new thor's coming yes and lady thor is coming yes very excited about that oh my other hot take the avatar water second avatar movie that we've been waiting for yeah. a decade for the preview came and like they played it in the theaters before i think like that weekend is when the preview dropped apparently it got like 150 million views on the preview alone on youtube already not interested can i say something please you know how people kind of finesse their way to the top with like song with songs or like they'll find loopholes to make it like the most viewed or the most whatever i want to know who did that with avatar because i saw a tiktok and it makes so much sense is like the conspiracy theory yes, about avatar no <laughs> i like there's no crazy song that came from it. Like even the characters itself, like who, who do you know that? But it did really well at the box office. Why? That's what I want to know. Why? I think that for 10 years ago, it was pretty innovative for the time. Yeah. But now that like, I'm I've, sure there's reasoning, but why did we wait a decade? I can't, I watched it quite a few times when it was in theaters. The only things I could tell you is that Sigourney Weaver's in it. Zoe Zaldana. Zoe, yeah. And then the braids. Remember they'd have oh my sex God, yeah. with the braid? Like, yeah. I remember being like, how old is I? 16, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, here's my braid. <laughs> I don't remember nothing. And then all that's what I mean. It's like the trailer wasn't, we're going to get roasted so hard by the Avatar stands. But like the trailer wasn't good enough for me, me waiting 10 years. There wasn't even any, any audio. It was silent. And that's what I am saying. Like, I'm not saying it was bad because it wasn't. I love James Cameron. Like, oh my God. But as a whole, like, why was that like, like, I'm so curious if it's going to do super, super well. Like, I'm curious if they found a loophole in some sort of way. I don't know. It I don't. It's the braids. It's the in braids. In blue. But I think, I don't know. Like, the way that it was just like, I just, I don't get it. I do think it was super, like, different for the time. For the time, yeah. Because it was like, it's acting, but it's real and whatever. I get it. I'm so curious. I just remember when it passed Titanic, I was, like, devastated. Do you think it's going to crush in the box office? That's I don't. I don't think it will. Which, but it probably will. I think it will. Because they're going to find some sort of loophole and be like, see, now we have to prove. I don't know. That's my concern. I don't theory. think it's a loophole. I think people just like love Avatar. Well, I don't think they love it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves it? Whenever I think of Avatar, I think of The Last Airbender. I don't think yes, of blue people. That's what I'm saying. What was the movie even about? I don't know. <laughs> but it's not our fault because it's been a decade. Yes. And it was very colorful. And I was old enough to remember. It's not like <gasps> I was eight. Yeah. When they get to that like planet and it was like lush. And then the sex right? with the braid. The braid. I remember the braid. Yeah. But this one's all in water. I did see a behind the scenes picture and it looked really interesting. But I'm like, did they shoot that nine years ago or did they shoot that yesterday? I'm not sure. Or is it just, comp I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's our, clearly this is why we're not m movie reviewers. <laughs> I was going to say if Cal were here, he'd be, he would <laughs> he hate be me. so upset with us right He now. would be like, you don't know. No, 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 no. But he doesn't want to see Avatar either. More than I don't. So that's what I'm saying. Even movie buffs apparently. That's I'm, I'm, I think it'll crush in the box office. I think it will too. Yeah. I don't want it to. <laughs> Sorry. No, we want it to. If people find it interesting, then they can find it interesting. I just don't think it deserves. I think it's overhyped. Yeah. Hot take. Hot take. And with that, thank you so much for listening to Pretty Basic Movie Reviews and Trailer Reviews. What's it called? Squiggle? Squiggle! <laughs> it's really called Letterbox. Le I've learned. Letterbox. Letterbox. Um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we will see you guys next week. It's so nice to have Mr. Miyashin back in the studio. So nice to be back on my couch. And next week's episode is going to be very fun. It's all about help. My best friend got a boyfriend. How do we navigate our relationship now? What do we do? And this has been very, very requested. So we'll see you guys really soon. We love you so much. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>